Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to another episode of A Gardener's Journey Homestead. I'm Barbara. And today I'm just going to let you hang out with me in the greenhouse. I have some watering to do. Um, I haven't watered in a couple of days and the sun has been out, which is a good thing. So I'm going to do um, a good thorough watering and everything in the greenhouse. And then we're going to start some seeds today. And we're going to up pot some seeds that have already um, outgrown their space and put them into bigger pots. So come hang out with me today as we do all things in the greenhouse and just keeping it going as we prepare for the garden season. Let's go. Okay guys, I just got done watering. And so I wanted to show you some of the seedlings um, so far. Y'all, I'm really proud. These seedlings are definitely doing better than when I tried two years ago. If you saw my video that I did, maybe a couple of weeks ago about starting seeds, I told you that this is my second time starting seeds and I am determined for this not to be an epic fail like the first one. So I'll bring you a little bit closer so you can see. Um, doing really good so i'm going to up pot some of these and put them in bigger containers i did want to show you the um potting soil that i'm using today this is happy frog from fox farm i got this at my local co-op i have heard nothing but great things about this potting mix so i saw a bag in there so i grabbed it so i'm gonna try it and um again i've heard nothing but great things from other youtubers so i'm excited to try it and see how it does so one of the things um, that I showed you in the last video is that I use several different mediums to start my seeds in. What I mean by that is what I actually put them in. So I don't think I had these the last time on my video, but I got these from my local tractor supply. And y'all, I love these things. Um, you can see kind of how big it is. If I had to guess, that's probably maybe a one inch um, or whatever. And you can see that they have done really, really well. I had pretty much um, almost 90 percent germination everything germinated except this little hole right here but everything else did well this is my oregano and then this is sage and so the one thing i like about these it comes with this little tray so it catches the water and then all you have to do is literally you can see me pushing this up so if I, can, I don't think i can do it one-handed see if you can see it you can see me pushing it up and then it's just going to come up. Now, probably the mistake I made is that I watered them this morning, not thinking I was going to up pot them. So I probably should have left them a little bit more dry to make it easier so they don't fall apart. But look, you can see how easy that came out, right? So it has this little, um, I guess you would call it like neoprene, some kind of, um, material and there's holes at the bottom as you can see but basically you just push up and it just comes right out so i really 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 like these um also these are the plug trays i showed you this the last time so this is a 144 cell tray you can see that um the the grain that you see the most of is the lettuce and the cabbage but you can kind of see these are not deep at all so um, I'm going to have to figure out a way to get these out um, because I don't think they're going to be as easy as this. So first, we're going to let's up pot this right here, the sage and the um, oregano. So basically, we're just going to put them in bigger pots with some potting soil so that they have room to grow. Now, I might be able to put this in the ground, you know, as is, but I'm not ready for that yet. One, because I'm not quite sure where, where I'm going to put my herbs. Some herbs are going to go in containers that grow um, that are pretty invasive like mint and stuff like that. So I haven't looked up oregano I don't think oregano is invasive um, But I'm not ready to put it in the ground yet I haven't looked up to see if I can nor do I know where I'm gonna put it So my crop plan has changed just a little bit with the addition of the in-ground gardening So I'm still kind of working through some of that and figuring out where all things are gonna go Which is the reason why it's important to have a crop plan. So I'm going to get a pot these are two two and a half inch pots remember i showed you this in the last video 
So you can see that I'm going from this size to this size. So it's gonna give them, give it plenty of room to grow. So I'm just gonna fill this up with potting soil. I'm gonna up pot all of these into these two and a half inch pots, give it more space to grow and we'll go from there. Okay, guys, you can see I've been busy potting stuff up. Now, I'll tell you, remember I told you how this was easy to pop out um, and put into these? This right here, I'm not gonna say I hate it. I don't like it as much. It's much more difficult to get it out of the plug trays. I'm like pushing up and um, it's coming out, but I have to do it like really, really gingerly. It's just not as easy. I'm not saying it's a no, never do it again but it's certainly not as easy as the other ones. Now, the benefit of having this is that you can do a lot of stuff. You know, it's 144 cells, so you can plant a lot of stuff. So you can kind of see, like there's some that are empty and some that are not. My goal was to do a row of romaine lettuce. The lettuce was really, really, really hard to get out. And you can kind of see here, it has a lot of um, leaves and they've kind of gotten tangled in together. Um, so I did some lettuce and then I did almost a whole row of cabbage. The cabbage was easier to get out. So I'll show you, this is the cabbage that I up potted. And then this is the lettuce. The lettuce looks a little weepy. So I'm going to water it and then it'll, I'll put it back in the house under grow lights because the temperature is still dropping here. So they're not in the greenhouse permanently. And let's see if they perk back up. Um, and then this here are all the things that I potted back up. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna actually start some seeds today. I'm gonna start flowers. So I'm gonna do zinnias, um, celosia, and there was another one. I don't remember, but I'm gonna start some seeds and I'm gonna go ahead and do them in these pots here just so that I can fill up the other half of this um, tray. And then I went to Tractor Supply. I got another one of these. I'll put some flowers in these as well. And I said earlier that this was neoprene, but it's silicone. That's what it is. So we'll um, get busy starting some seeds from flowers. For this, um, as you can see, I have a lot of growth in the first two rows, the lettuce and the cabbage. You can see that my peppers are starting to come up here. So they'll obviously stay in the tray. And for now, I'm gonna keep the lettuce there and come up with a different plan but it's not gonna be today. So we're gonna keep going. And um, I'm happy so far with what I've up potted, especially into um, these right here. So I'm gonna plant some flower seeds. And then um, I think that's gonna be it for today in terms of the seed stuff. Okay, guys, I started some zinnias and some celosia. Um, I was gonna do cosmos, but I have run out of space with everything that I brought to the greenhouse. So I'll start those um, another time. But we got some stuff accomplished today. We got everything up potted um, that needed to be from these. And then we replanted in these. Um, I got a whole tray of cabbage um, that's up potted, a whole um, tray of romaine lettuce. This is where I started the zinnia seeds. So overall, I think... Um, we're doing good. And so the reason why, if I didn't explain this before, the reason why you want to up pot is to give your chance, your roots a chance um, to grow before they go into the ground. Again, um, if you start off something really, really small like this, they'll get root bound and they won't grow any further. So that's why you want to give them more space um, to grow. So thank you guys for hanging out with me um, today as I just kind of milled around the greenhouse um, and taking care of some things that needed to be taken care of. I'll continue to give you updates on my seeds, but y'all, I'm feeling pretty good. This is my this is my prize. Look at that. Looking great. Much better than two years ago. So I'm excited. I'm going to just water all of these in and then take them um, to the house. And so they can get back into their nice environment before the temperature drops. And I'll see you guys the next time. Remember, gardening is a journey. Let's grow together.